Hey besties, welcome back to Linda's Kitchen. <laughs> okay, welcome back guys. So today we are doing, we're gonna be baking custard scones. So yes, we're gonna be making custard scones. So I'm just gonna take you guys along through all the steps, you know, that we're gonna be taking or yeah, taking so that we, we get this amazing and super delicious scones. So obviously, you know the procedure, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new and uh, click the notification bell so that you can be notified uh, whenever I upload future videos and yeah man, just enjoy the video. Ooh, when I'm feeling so hungry, I go watch my favorite girl. When she's cooking and baking, I love that delicious dessert. Man, I love that Lindo's kitchen, Lindo's kitchen. I love you, Lindo. Yeah. Cook for me, my Lindo. Man, I love that Lindo's kitchen, Lindo's kitchen. I love you, Lindo. Yeah. Cook for me, my Lindo. Okay, besties. So I'm just gonna take you guys through the ingredients that we're gonna be needing for our custard scones. So obviously, firstly, you need five cups of flour. Make sure that you have sifted them. And then number two, you need three eggs. Number three, you're obviously going to need a baking powder. So five teaspoons of baking powder. And then we've got our Ultramel. So Ultramel, you're going to need one cup of Ultramel. And you're going to need one cup of Amasi. And these are the best, best, best Amasi for baking, guys. Yo, these are the best. This Douglas Dale brand. They're so rich and creamy and thick, you know. So always try to get these if you can. And then we're going to be needing one uh, teaspoon of vanilla essence. And I've got here, oops, I've got here 500, um, sorry, 250 grams of butter. Or margarine rather sorry it's margarine so that is basically like half of a full margarine and we also need uh, caster sugar only one cup of caster sugar but if you don't have caster sugar it's still fine you can use your normal white granulated sugar it's fine oh also a pinch like literally a pinch of salt basically those are all the ingredients that we're gonna be needing so now i'm gonna be taking you guys through the process oh wait let me just explain the margarine so i grated the margarine because eventually we are going to like rub it with the flour so when it's grated it's much it's much easier to like fully combine it with the flour to get it into a, a crumb like state as compared to when you cut uh pieces like small pieces so yeah grating it is much better so that is what we're going to be doing right now and yeah let us get into the video Okay, besties, so we're gonna start by mixing the dry ingredients. So for the dry ingredients, we've got our five cups of flour, which is sifted. We have our one cup of, um, what you call this, custard sugar. And then we have our baking powder. So anyway, let me just get right into business. So we need five, five teaspoons of, of this baking powder Two. Three. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Three. Four. And then adding our one cup of icing sugar and then also we need like just a pinch of salt okay so just mix thoroughly with your spatula Also, 
guys uh while you are busy mixing already you need to start you need to warm your oven so let me just quickly do that okay so just put it on 180 degrees celsius so that while you are busy mixing and rolling and stuff then it starts becoming warm so that when you put it in when you put your scones in the oven then they are all set and ready okay so basically our flour mixture is done now we're going to add our grated or margarine remember we need to okay i'm just going to add bit by bit at a time it needs to combine properly with the flour okay so i'm just going to go in with both my hands and mix just make sure that uh everything is mixed properly and that it's in sort of like a, cr a bread crumbs kind of like state all right basically so this is how our flour looks like it's nice and in a nice bread crumb state so now i'm gonna move on to adding our wet ingredients actually mixing them together we'll mix it together and then add them in here so yeah stay tuned for that all right so now we are mixing our wet ingredients so i'm firstly gonna go with the mass just remember it's one cup of mass Can you see how thick it is i really like this brand it's super 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 thick mm -hmm. okay so it's one cup of mass and then also one cup of ultramel or any other you can use any other custard basically one teaspoon of vanilla and then lastly we adding our three eggs okay so that's our three th three eggs so guys remember you also need to um, uh, what do you call this have an extra egg meaning a fourth egg which we're gonna be brushing uh, our mixture with on top so just go in with your whisk okay it has mixed properly so now we are adding back um we're adding this into our flour mixture and i'm gonna be using a spatula because i do not want to over mix my dough so try to use something whether it's a spoon or a wooden spoon and then you just pour bit by bit and you mix all right so this is how our dough looks like so yeah i've mixed it and it's not over mixed so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna um put it on the we're gonna put it on the table and then start rolling it out but firstly you need to obviously sprinkle your table with some flour The dough is so beautiful. Okay, let me just flour my hands a bit and then I'm just gonna do that and then start rolling out the dough. 
also guys make sure that your pan is already greased i've greased my pan Just put it aside so i've got these two cookie cutters i bought them from checkers so now i'm just going to start cutting uh with them so i'm starting with the smaller one so you first dip it in flour dip it in flour and then you cut when you cut when you cut ne, please don't <laughs> don't not twist the cutter just cut and then take it out long nails but wrong also make sure that your dough is a bit thick maybe about one point two centimeters thick or yeah just a centimeter or one point two Alright besties, so this is how it looks. The very important, like your dough must not have any cracks or anything like that. It needs to be very smooth. So that is how my dough is. So now I, I usually just cut all the the scones right all together. So now I'm just gonna remove the dough like this. Just remove and set aside. And then you can just take the scone like this and place it on the pan and please once you place it on the pan don't pick it up and want to move it again no don't do that you place it once and you leave it otherwise it's going to lose you it's going to lose shape and we don't want that okay so now I'm just going to brush it with the egg so that it has a shiny look so just brush 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 okay so the this is how our scones looks like so I'm just quickly taking it into the oven okay so we're gonna be baking at um 180 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes just keep on checking it and then yeah it should be ready so i'll see you guys when they come out of the oven oh okay besties. so these are our scones just took them out of the oven they look really really nice so right now i'm just gonna let them cool down a bit and then once i am done i'll be taking them out and obviously ready to you know <laughs> chow them with my family so i really hope that you enjoy the you enjoyed this video and please remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed also like and uh share this video as well. and also just comment you know if you do happen to try the scones out just come back on the comment section let me know how it went you know uh, i really do appreciate those kind of comments and yeah thank you so much besties for tuning in and i will be seeing you guys on the next video bye